and a very good Sunday to you. I'm CNY Central First Alert Meteorologist Matt Stevens. Hope the weekend has been going well for you. Temperature wise, we're usually looking for a high around the lower 60s this time of the year, and I would anticipate us just like yesterday to end up a good 10 degrees or so below average for this time of the year. Factor in the breeziness, many of us already felt like the 20s early on this morning. Much of this morning will feel like the 30s and low 40s, ultimately feeling like the 40s into this afternoon, even though our highs briefly make it into the lower 50s. Our typical lows in the lower 40s, and many of us were at least in the ballpark of that. However, it should be noted that it didn't feel that way this morning. Again, it felt like the 20s for some folks early on. Records are safe in 91 and 28. Uh, that record high of 91 set back in 2009. 28 degrees, a record low set back in 1993. Our sunrise, 604. Our sunset, 801. And yesterday, just over a tenth of an inch of rain officially picked up at the Syracuse Hancock Airport and nothing registered officially snowfall wise. However, it should be noted that early on this morning, Triple Doppler confirmed there was plenty of higher elevation spots that were picking up some light snow, uh, rain snow mixture. So let's discuss that snowfall situation. Uh, I know it's not everybody's favorite thing, but it should be noted that we're still fair game for popping off a few wet snowflakes all the way into early May. So typically by this time of the year, we'd have about 123.5 inches of snow, and this year we have 132 inches. So we're still above average. Here's a day cast to get you through today. Our brisk winds out of the northwest will shift more to out of the north by later today. Just a subtle shift. Uh, either of those directions is obviously a cooler flow, so we're going to end up with temperatures below average today. Early on, scattered rain, wet snow showers at higher elevations, slowly tapering into a mix of sun and clouds for this afternoon. 52 degrees are projected high, and uh, as I mentioned, that's a good 10 degrees below average for this time of the year. Our Futurecast, I think, has a pretty good handle on how this brisk northwest flow is interacting with the relatively warm waters of Lake Ontario to produce some lake effect rain and even wet snow showers this morning. Drier air slowly nudging in, so drier air will slowly take hold through the day, start to diminish the lake response and get us into a mix of sun and clouds, I think, by this afternoon. Heading into this evening, partly to at times mainly clear skies, and then through the day Monday, mostly sunny skies. It will call it a mix of sun and clouds by late day Monday. However, Monday is clearly the best day of the seven day forecast as we currently see it. And the reason for that, that little area of fair weather high pressure, it's technically centered up to our north, but it's exerting its influence southward. And while it's not going to be abnormally warm or anything like that, it should be noted that it is probably the best of the bunch just because after that we move into a very slow moving system. It's probably going to hang with us for a good chunk of the seven day. So hour by hour through this morning, 45 degrees by 11 o'clock, early clouds, wet flurries at higher elevations, sprinkles, some drizzle as well, lower elevations, slowly tapering off a mix of sun and clouds by this afternoon. 52 degrees are projected high breezy this morning and breezy this afternoon. The breeze backs off tonight, partly to at times mainly clear skies, overnight lows in the mid thirties. Here's the seven day. Looking for a high of 62 on Monday. Standard stuff for this time of the year. Mostly sunny, then a mix of sun and clouds late. Thickening up the clouds Monday night. We're into a slow moving system Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. No day, a total wash, but in and out of showers each day.